Greetings. Hey, it's Susie Q here. Today is day 21 of 111 podcast about today I thrive. <laughs> so, this written piece that I created this morning has a little bit more details about my journey with the Akashic Records. And if you know what it is, great. If you don't, that's great too. So you could just say this is creative writing, which is pretty much everything I do. <laughs> so here we go. Twine to the eye, to the needle, fulfillment, the act of masterful manifestation in motion, which we coin creation. <laughs> Pattern sequences recognized, brilliance in the adieu of chains that now are expressed as molten residue. Back to the earth, to the ethers beyond this ashen semblance of long ago. Snap, click, clap. In a flash, what was chains is now the color blue. On to another record. Inner earth dwellers, females like I, flow down the rivers of liquid copper. By and by, the wooden boats carried the children to the safest regions of this space way down and below. This flow carried the ones aboard into the sacred caverns where other females like I helped the children to garner their footing ashore in the cavern's sunlit eye. Each female had liquid copper-like mud on their crowns aglow to hold this conduit of energies deep below. Just up and over this voyage, the children exclaimed, I see, I see this light to be the central sun. On to another Akashic record. The goddess has nudged the one female divine to leave this place and look way, way beyond. Onto a place there were helpers. The females, tall like giants, dressed in their finest flair, were ready to assist in my odyssey quest du jour. Tall in stature, they each and all pointed to a key and locations that were perhaps the paths for me. For a brief moment of time, I realized their help was now then complete. Oh, that's all? The place, the place? Now how would I know? So she walked alone and pondered. Quickly, like a flash, a small craft hovered just above the ground of my knowing. A door opened. The beings asked that I come in. I explained my strange predicament of a destination with no apparent true location. The female beings discussed this quandary, and the male beings took it to task to assist in taking me to a place. What now? The place of unknown origin subsides as the coordinate stamp has expired for this curious jaunt. Knowing there is more to the story in my holographic field, I believe this rendezvous, clandestine by nature, has in fact been shown just how the governing vessel of copper aglow purifies the innate qualities of the human vessel. More Akash. Pure theater to delight the senses invokes the deeper yearnings of what character will suit my wonderless aspirations in this very moment of now. <laughs> and a slight narrative here about my Akashic journey. Snippets of my own Akashic quest be shown in varied ways. Each touch of remembrances embraces the higher understandings of my soul's journey, and I am thankful for this unique and uncanny awareness of past lives. Often feels as a life within a life with no physical ascension. The presence of the spirit vibrating out of the body as the etheric cord releases shines new light onto a newer perspective of being. Energy exists beyond the physical reality that our five senses entertain. In unity, we each play our unique roles in uplifting all energy centers that we come to know. Together we grow, bit by bit, energy centers return to true recalibration of unity. In a space of love, may we all find peace and calm in this very amazing in-breath. <laughs> 
that was a um, kind of a, a grouping of Akash uh, details that came in for me. So if you're interested in the Akashic Records, this is something that I do, and I love sharing it with people and just seeing you in your most beautiful and most amazing way right now, in this moment of now. And namaste.